Okay, I'm going to show you the next steps to creating and adding details for your animal shaker. You can grab your bag, carefully open it up, pull out everything that you've already started working on. You might already have your pinch pots put together, you might not. Wherever you are, go ahead and take all the pieces out carefully. Um, I started making some details already, and we're going to talk about how to do that if you have not yet. One thing you can think about your pinch pots, hopefully, once they are put together, can start to harden up. You still don't want to um, pinch it tightly because you don't want to cave any of the sides in for your pinch pots. You want to roll it very carefully and it smooths out some of your edges if it helps you to kind of roll it around on the bottom. It might just help you get some smoothing and also for some of you it might help you stretch your pinch pots a little bit longer but be careful like mine was just starting to split back open a little bit which means I was probably pressing too hard. So just take very good care of this. If you feel like you start to see cracks just smooth them out with your finger. All right so now I need to add details to my animal. If you have not done this yet, I really encourage you to. Grab a piece of paper and make a simple sketch of the animal you're creating. You know that you are gonna have this oval shape for your um, animal, because we have our two pinch pots put together. So go ahead and start with an oval. Decide, do you want your animal to be on its side? Do you want them to stand up? Do you want them lying down? How, you know, what direction is your pinch pot gonna be? And then think about the shapes you're going to add on for the details. So when you're ready, you're going to take chunks of clay and make these shapes that you have literally drawn on your animal. Okay? So I'll leave my sketch right here so we can kind of look at it. Um, so you're going to take just little pieces of clay like this, and you simply can form them or pinch them to be what you want them to be. Like for a triangle, I use these little pinching fingers. Pinch it here. And if you need to pinch on top to flatten it, you could do that. See, I'm just doing like this. I also could take this finger and kind of tap it here. If you want to curl it, whether it's a talon or a beak or a toenail or a fin, you can do that. Okay, this is probably a little small for my fish, but I wanted to show you the shape. That, how you could make that. Um, I do want to show you, this is a different shaker that I had made. Um, it's already been glazed and everything, but that's a similar shape for this beak. And you can see what I did then is take a pencil and I just drew a little line for the beak there. And I added on different shapes to my actual pinch pots. Okay. Um, so I have already made a piece like this and this and this and I made a little ball of clay and then I pinched it, I pushed it in with my fingers like this and pinched it to make it for the lips. So let's start putting it together. How about that? I know I need a big tail. So I'm gonna get a little bit bigger chunk of clay and I'm gonna roll that into a ball. I'm gonna kind of flatten it with my fingers like this. Kind of same thing we did before. I'm using my fingers here to kind of brace it because I know my tail is gonna be a little bit of a triangle shape. So, I am using this to get these lines. You can also gently tap it on your table to flatten it. You can use your fingers to smooth like this. If you want to stretch it out a little bit, you can just use your fingers. It's kind of up to you how you make it, but it's amazing how your fingers are really the best tool that you have. All right, so that's kind of a big tail. I don't know that I want it to be that big. I think I want to flatten this end more. So I'm kind of smushing the clay to make it not such a long triangle, and then I'm going to smooth this back out. Like so. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, maybe I don't want it so long, so look what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my pencil and cut off part of my tail. So I'm just essentially like drawing a line and it's getting deeper and deeper and then it just cut it right off. Okay, so once we're ready to start adding things to our pinch pots, we're going to go back to that S cubed over here. I traced it so you could see it darker. Score with the scratch marks, slip, add a little dip of water, and then smooth it out so you don't see the scratch marks. So. 
if I know I want to add my lips right here, I am going to set them where I want them to go. It might even, for the time being, stick where you want it to go. But if you do not add the scratch marks, this is a really big deal. If you do not add the scratch marks, when it starts to dry, it's going to pull apart. When clay dries, it shrinks. So if you do not give clay with the scratch marks, if you don't give it fingers to lock together, when it starts to dry, if it has those fingers, it can't pull apart. But if you're just putting two wet pieces of clay together, they're like this. And when it, clay starts to shrink, they're just gonna pop apart because they have nothing to hold on to, okay? So scratch marks, score marks are super important. One thing that might be helpful when you have your shapes made, set them where you want them and maybe just like make some little marks around where you know you wanna put it. See that little box? And then I'm gonna do score marks inside of there, just like tic-tac-toe, okay? Score marks on the other piece. Remember, scoring, it's kind of like Velcro. You're adding scratch marks on both of the pieces you're gonna connect, and then you're carefully putting it on there. And you kind of start to see the slip or the water ooze out a little bit. That's a good sign, because you know it's getting down in there, okay? If you are able, if your pieces are still wet enough, you want to smooth it to connect it. This one's a little dry, so it's not going to do that as well. So you just have to be very careful. You could even use your, the back side of your nail to smooth it. Okay, so I've got my little lips on my fish. Let's do the tail. Score. And then I know I'm to go right here, so let's see. I'm going to make some lines. So I know where I want to put it. And if some of your score marks show after you've attached the piece, you just smooth them out. Because it's kind of like you want to hide your work. Like if you're in math class and you have to work out a problem for it to count. Well, in art, sometimes we want to hide our work, not leave it out there for all to see. Okay, so I'm kind of using my finger smoothing it to connect it to the pinch pot. Make sure it's really strong and connected well. Flip it over. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Then I might want to add some fins on the side. Remember, I don't want them to stick straight out like this, because they would break off really easily. I'm gonna lay it against the body. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, there we go. And just be careful when you're smushing it on there. You don't wanna push so hard that it caves your pinch pots in, okay? See, so he is attached. He's sticking out a little bit from the body. That's okay, he's mostly joined. And you can see some of my score marks still. So I'm using even the back of my finger, the nail part, to get it smoothed out. Okay. All right, there's one fin. Let's flip him over. slip. Now I'll attach it and smooth. Okay, cool. So I've got those little guys. I need to do an eye. I need to add some other things. I do, I'm not going to spend the whole time right now doing that, but I do want to show you, like, if you wanted to add any lines or designs, these clay pencils are really so awesome because you simply can just draw texture right into your clay. If you want to draw a pattern on him, like if I knew I was going to paint a bunch of polka dots on this fish, I could even take the back of my pencil or I have some marker caps that you can use and I could carefully stamp it. I could also 
just draw it. You just want to be careful you are not pushing all the way through. Okay, sometimes you get these little clay crumbs. You can just brush those off or smooth them out. So, you keep on adding details. I also will put an eye on my fish. Remember my sketch over here. I've got this, this. Oh, I haven't added my top fin. And I've got my lips, so I need to do my eye and my top fin still. But I'm not going to take up any more of your time. So, that's kind of where we'll go. At the very end, we will punch holes somewhere. Whether it's at the bottom or the end, it's kind of up to you what makes most sense. So that the air can escape from inside your pinch pots, okay? If the air is captured in there and it heats up, you know what happens? It explodes. So please double check that you get your name on there and you get holes punched in it somewhere before we leave it to dry before Christmas break, okay? Alrighty, thanks so much, good luck.